Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I have a problem with my raspberry bushes outside. Something's eating them. I've seen flies on them, but I've also seen some beetles. They're small. I don't believe they're Japanese beetles, so I'm going to make a little insecticidal soap today. I have a small pot of water boiling into which I'm throwing some just smashed up garlic cloves. I'm also breaking up some cayenne pepper that I dried from my garden last year. I'm trying to work the seeds out and to get it crushed up so that that pepper will soften and all the heat will go into the water. I'm also going to be very careful to wash my hands and be careful not to touch my eyes today although I really didn't touch the inside of the pepper or the seeds much I'm just going to break it up. I'm going to let this steep for a while to reduce the water slightly and to intensify the heat in the pot. And then I may come back and add a few more things to the mix, but I'm going to let this simmer for a few minutes. This mixture has been simmering for about 10 minutes and I'm going to add a few more things now. You don't want to add dishwashing, uh, the liquid dishwashing soap to it because it's not really soap, it's detergent. So I'm grating a little bit of Fells naphtha soap in here. Not very much, probably not more than a, a teaspoon or so and I'm going to let that dissolve in there. I'm also going to add some orange peel. Bugs just hate the scent of citrus so I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. This is orange peel. I, I always peel off oranges whenever I'm canning them. I just save the orange peel because I can use it for so many things. Here's some ginger I dehydrated. I'm going to put a few pinches of that in because bugs do not like that scent as well. So maybe with all of this, I'm going to be able to keep the bugs off my raspberries. Got a few little bites on some green beans and peppers too. I think I'm going to give them all just a little spritz. I'm just pressing the orange peel down and stirring in the soap to get it all blended together. Everything simmered together for about 10 minutes, I guess. I've stirred it to be sure the fells naphtha soap dissolved. Now I'm just going to strain all the organic matter out using this little strainer. I'm pouring the hot liquid into a measuring cup. I ended up with about three quarters of a cup of the concentrated insecticidal soap liquid. We'll let all that drain out and then just return the organic matter to the sauce pot and deal with that later. I'll throw it away. Now what I'm going to do is take an old uh, Windex pump bottle that's been rinsed out really well. I just put uh, cold tap water in there. Now I'm pouring the insecticidal soap concentrate in because that's hot uh, and the water in the bottle is cold. I ought to end up with a product that's about at room temperature and can be sprayed directly on the plants. I won't have to wait. The little spray nozzle I've also cleaned out. I've run clear water through that, pump clear water through it to be sure there's no chemicals in there, no Windex left in there. Actually what was in this bottle previously was just some vinegar water. Now I've gone outside and here's one of the beetles that I see. It's real shiny like a Japanese beetle but they're very tiny and uh, as soon as I sprayed the insecticidal soap on them they fell over. Yeah, I threw them on the ground. He wasn't very happy. You can see my raspberry bushes are just loaded with raspberries, so we just spritzed everywhere. You can see the holes where they've eaten, and it's mostly uh, really close around the raspberries. I tried not to spray the raspberries themselves very much, but man, I really hate it when bugs eat my berries. So I'm putting it all over them. You don't want to spray in the heat of the day. This is still the cool of the morning, and there was even a little dew on the leaves, so it's a perfect time to spray. Be sure to get the underneath side of the leaves. I let Prepare help me get down there low. And yeah, anything it touched, even the flies just kind of fell off and uh, looked like they were having a fit when I sprayed them. We went over to the peppers as well. There's a few bug bites on there. So we gave those a quick spritz and then we moved on to the, uh, oh yeah, here's some bell peppers. Uh, 
they weren't too bad but a few bites and then we moved on to the beans and the beans once they get up off the ground they don't have too many bites it's the bottom see the the top leaves look pretty good it's the bottom leaves that really had some some holes so we sprayed them really good hope this helps cat's cradle